Since he is a net buyer of equities, Warren Buffett really enjoys it when stocks decline. Since he has been investing in stocks since he was 11 years old, a decline in stocks is good news, just as a decline in hamburgers or Coca-Cola is good news for whatever he has been purchasing for years. Warren Buffett has a track record of seizing opportunities during market downturns and panic selling to turn drastically falling stock prices into enormous profits. But as excitement grows for yet another profitable opportunity that will emerge in 2024 from the embers of uncertainty, Buffett's message is unmistakable. There will be a chance to strike it rich soon, and those who miss it will suffer severe losses. In this video, we'll discuss the key indicators that point to the likelihood of this happening, its implications for you, and what you need to know. We'll also go over how you can get ready and seize this incredible opportunity to accumulate wealth and stay one step ahead of everyone else. Remember how 2023 kind of broke our hearts? The Federal Reserve raised interest rates 11 times between March 2022 and January 2024, making borrowing more expensive and making life more difficult for many people. However, despite everyone's optimism that things will improve this year, what if we told you that 2024 might actually get worse? The economy will deal with three major challenges this year. First, the government will have to pay more interest on its debt, which means that taxpayers may also have to up their share. However, keep in mind that while experts in various reports predicted that millions of people would lose their jobs by 2024, it's already happening. American employers cut more than 84,000 jobs in February, the highest number since 2009. High inflation, higher interest rates, and growing national debt are these problems that affect different areas including real estate and how much companies borrow. This all sounds like pretty bad news, right? Well, the life and teachings of Warren Buffett tell us that despite the gray clouds in the financial sky, there is always a window of opportunity. However, in order to take advantage of that opportunity, you must comprehend one thing, PSDO which stands for Panic Sale Discount Opportunity. Man, it teaches us that panic causes mindless sales, which give wise investors discount opportunities and ultimately lead to mega gains. You may recall that in the fall of 2009, Warren Buffett made this statement regarding the U.S. economy, and it has since improved. I don't understand it. I've seen the February figures for our companies. Many laughed at him when he made this audacious statement, but time has shown time and time again that he was correct. America has a history of staggering lows, but like clockwork, the economy bounces back quickly because of its resilience. The people who profit from this resilience are those who think like Warren Buffett and who understand PSDO. The very rich have obviously done exceptionally well. Allow us to demonstrate this panic sale discount opportunity for you through a real-world example. In 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic struck China and quickly spread to the United States and other countries. Amidst the unprecedented market volatility, many people were terrified for their investments and some even predicted that the market would crash to an extent that it would never recover. However, as we all survived, did you know that the older viewers who had made some wise investments during the 2008 to 2012 real estate cycle? You will concur with us when we remark that the fourth quarter of 2008 saw a considerable decline in the median existing home price in the U.S. and that the real estate market was severely damaged and prices were at all-time lows, dropping by an all-time high 12.4% from the same time in 2007. Looking over the whole year of 2008, this was the greatest quarterly reduction since it began. Tracking prices in 1979. It revealed a significant 99.5% drop in the median EX existing home price, which fell to $197,100 from $217,900 in 2017. Now take a stroll with us and picture the chaos and dread that pervaded the 2008 real estate crisis, when people scrambled to sell their homes out of concern for what might happen to the property market. Where others saw chaos, Peter, a random individual who understood PSDO and Warren Buffett's philosophy, saw opportunity, and friends and professionals warned against investing in real estate during such uncertain times. Despite advisories and friends' concerns, Peter had a different vision. 
He purchased a cheap house in the hope that the market would eventually recover, and it did as the years passed and the crisis aftermath became more apparent. Peter's story serves as a stark reminder of the oracle of Omaha's strong love for when the market prices come crashing down. Personally, I like it when stocks go down because I've been a net buyer of stocks since I was 11 years old, so when stocks go down, it's good news, just like when hamburgers or Coca-Cola go down. It's good news. But sometimes, the greatest rewards come from defying the odds, trusting your instincts, and going against the grain. Let us take a walk down memory lane to the beginning of the millennium. The dot-com bubble was growing from strength to strength, and these firms gained millions of dollars from pretty much every investment institution on Wall Street with valuations skyrocketing. These firms gained millions of dollars from investors, so we guess that's why Warren Buffett once said, beware the investment activity that produces applause. Great moves are usually greeted with yawn permission to blow your minds away. But did you know that millennials and Gen X's have seen three once-in-a-lifetime golden opportunities in one lifetime? It's difficult to hold them responsible. Even though markets were rising, people were making money. Investors were content, bankers were making money, and everything was good. However, when the bubble eventually burst, people lost it, and many firmly believed that no one would ever use the internet again. It's now evident, though, that feelings like excitement or panic can actually lead people to make bad investment decisions. Why, in your opinion, did Warren Buffett once state that the largest error investors make is listening to others? Only when you keep your sanity and tune out the clamor from the public can you succeed in investing. So where are we going with this? Well, first of all, you have to understand that in the market, panic leads to opportunity. But in order to take advantage of that opportunity, you must be able to understand PSDO. And of course, you have to be prepared for almost a century. The U.S. economy has experienced recessions almost every decade. The longest stretch without one occurred after the 2008 crash, which was followed by the pandemic, which caused an ordered shutdown of the economy, and what some have called the worst recession since the Great Depression. Nevertheless, these are opportunities because whenever you face hardship, there is also room for growth, are only available to those who, once more, comprehend the concept of panic sales discount opportunities, and secondly, are well prepared. Make no mistake, if you start building your financial readiness during times of stability, especially by strengthening your bank account, you'll have the opportunity to take advantage of golden. Opportunities during the inevitable and difficult times. However, if you're wondering when exactly 2024 will be a nosedive for the majority of Americans, the truth is that we genuinely don't know. We can't predict the future, but there are some warning signs that are worth mentioning right now. The cost of living is higher than what the average person can afford with his income, the fact that we essentially now have more debt than ever before. We are facing unprecedented levels of credit card debt, and corporations and commercial real estate landlords are also struggling with record high debt burdens, along with the higher interest rates that are posing a serious threat to the already problematic situation. This circumstance corresponds with a discernible change in the commercial real estate scene, with a lot of office premises being mostly vacant. As a result, landlords will face higher expenses and lower income if they are required to restructure their debt at noticeably higher interest rates. Also, we're observing modifications in the economic shift. The rationale behind this is fairly straightforward. If a million or two more people were to lose their jobs, the newly unemployed and their families would probably cut back on spending considerably, while wage growth for those who were still employed would probably stagnate. The Federal Reserve has openly stated that a rise in unemployment is necessary to help reduce inflationary pressures and temper economic activity. As you can see, it's all part of the bigger picture. Warning signs are clear and past trends suggest that this economic downturn is inevitable. Even though they wish to reduce inflationary pressures by reducing the rate at which prices are rising. Economic downturns have happened frequently over the past century so it is unrealistic to think that they won't happen again. As a result, they are essentially a fundamental component of our economic system, which we must recognize and appropriately prepare for at this time. Which brings up the crucial question of how to prepare for this. Becoming ready for a market crash can be difficult.
If there's one thing we've learned from Warren Buffett, though, it's that investing doesn't have to be difficult. Here's a straightforward four-step plan to help you through a market meltdown. Step one is to identify the assets you own and the reasons behind holding them. Warren Buffett once said, a fear-driven reaction to a temporary slump isn't a good reason to dump an investment. Understanding your investments is crucial during market turbulence because it lays the groundwork for risk management and informed decision-making. You can appropriately estimate the risk levels of the businesses and assets in your portfolio and efficiently diversify to limit potential losses when you have a thorough understanding of them. This understanding also helps you keep a long-term perspective and concentrate on the underlying principles rather than letting the short-term market volatility influence you. The second step, though, is rather simple and revolves about having faith in diversification. There are many hazards associated with market downturns, particularly when investing in the stock market. For this reason, diversification is the best strategy for reducing risk and protecting capital during market crashes. Recognizing that no investment is immune to market volatility is necessary to trust in diversity. Diversifying your portfolio can help some assets perform well during a downturn while others hold steady or even increase in value. You may lessen the impact of any single investment's bad performance on your overall portfolio by spreading your investments across multiple asset classes and industries, which increases the possibility that you will weather market downturns with minimum harm. The third step is one of our favorites since it essentially supports Warren Buffett's assertion that every investor should be content when stock prices decline because, in actuality, the bear market is what makes people wealthy. If you want to profit from market crashes, you just need to buy the dip. Consider it as purchasing equities at a discount during a market downturn. Remember the real estate example we gave earlier about Peter? Well, we have to repeat it here. As investors, we should always be prepared and willing to spend money on properties whose prices are lowering. But first, here's how to tell when you're ready to buy the dip. You've set up an emergency fund, set aside money for retirement, and have enough cash on. Hand to cover everyday costs. Keep a wish list of equities you're interested in and save money for when the time is right. Ability to profit from market downturns, even while it's doubtful that you'll reach the market's lowest point. However, that's all right. The core of value investing is taking advantage of opportunities when you think that investments are undervalued and have strong long-term potential, regardless of when the market is at its lowest. However, using dollar cost averaging to spread out your asset purchases over time can help allay worries about bad timing and allow you to invest consistently even when other investors may be hesitant or sell off their investments. Lastly, step number four is inspired by an iconic quote from Warren Buffett that states that if you aren't willing to own a stock for 10 years, don't even consider owning it for 10 minutes. It's normal to feel uneasy during a stock market downturn when you see the value of your portfolio decline. But if you're investing for the long term, your best bet is to remain calm and avoid taking immediate action. After all, selling your investments during a downturn only makes your losses worse, so why even bother? Taking the S&P 500 ETF as an example, for instance, could have fallen by over 30% during the February 2020 market crash caused by COVID-19. If you had sold your investment, you would have realized those losses, but if you had held on to it, you might have recovered your losses by August of the same year. During times of market turbulence, having a long-term perspective is an essential tactic that is always in style. In conclusion, the enduring wisdom of Warren Buffett serves as a timeless reminder in the ever-fluctuating realm of investing. As we approach what could be a pivotal moment in the financial landscape, Buffett's insights beckon us to embrace patience, discipline, and a steadfast commitment to the long-term view. In a world often driven by the allure of quick gains and fleeting trends, Buffett's steadfast principles underscore the importance of understanding the businesses we invest in and remaining resolute amid market volatility. As we anticipate the unfolding of new opportunities in 2024 and beyond, Buffett's guidance encourages us to approach the market with a discerning eye and a focus on fundamental value. Through his sage advice, we are reminded that wealth accumulation is a journey that requires diligence, prudence, and a steadfast commitment to enduring principles.
Thus, as we stand at the precipice of what may be a transformative moment in the financial world, let us draw inspiration from Buffett's timeless teachings, knowing that with patience, perseverance, and a steadfast adherence to sound investment principles, the opportunity to prosper awaits us on the horizon. Investing Tutorial Channel is dedicated to empowering viewers with the knowledge and skills needed to navigate the complex world of investing. Through our comprehensive tutorials and insights from seasoned experts, we aim to demystify investing and equip you with the tools to make informed decisions about your financial future. Remember, investing is not just about making money, it's about securing your financial well-being and achieving your long-term goals. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more valuable content. Together, let's embark on this journey to financial success. Happy investing!